Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with a wig comparison. I'm here to compare Raquel Welch Let's Rendezvous with Raquel Welch Straight Up With A Twist. Two super cute, heat-friendly bobs with full mono tops, and really the only major difference between them is the length, and it's very subtle. So if you are curious about this comparison, then please stick around for the rest of this video and let's talk all about these Raquel Welch bobs. So when you're in the market for a wig and you're doing your research, one of the hardest things is deciding between two wigs that are very similar. So I am so thrilled to be able to do this comparison for you because I really think these two wigs are uh, perfect candidates for one of those struggles. On my head right now, I am wearing Let's Rendezvous. This is in the color SS Cafe Latte. I do have a review of this wig on YouTube and I will link it in the description so that you can go and watch the full review and learn all about the ins and outs of this piece. I did receive this one from Wig Studio One for review, and so I am very thankful to them for the partnership that we enjoy together, uh, doing reviews every now and then of wigs, because I probably wouldn't have gotten my hands on this piece otherwise. It is so cute though. I just don't know if it would have been on my radar as straight bobs typically aren't anymore. I really gravitate toward the curly wigs, but I will tell you that I am starting to uh, have a hankering for straight bobs again. So who knows? This may have launched that, but let me tell you a little bit about Let's Rendezvous and then I'm going to throw on straight up with a twist so that you can see the differences. So the biggest difference that I find between these two is the length. Uh, Let's Rendezvous is about an inch longer overall in all of the measurements than straight up with a twist. I find this one to be very polished and professional. This is a great Bob with some layers. It is super flattering. I just actually did a comparison of Jameson uh, by Aesthetica with this one. And in that comparison, I really highlight how subtle layers like this that give it some lift and give it some shaping really make a difference and can really work well for certain face shapes like mine that are, tend to be a little round and a little long. It just gives me a little bit of lift that Jameson did not. So let's take a look at this one from all sides. And notice some of those slight layers that give it a bit of a rounded look. So when I throw on straight up with a twist, what you're going to notice is this one goes down to about chin length on me and the back uh, kind of goes down to the top of my neck and that gives this one just a little bit more length. So if you're someone who doesn't like short styles and chin length is about your limit, then this one's going to hit probably around chin length, depending on your measurements. Look in the description of this video so that you can see what my measurements are and compare them to yours. That will help give you an idea of where this one will fall on you. So let me throw on straight up with the twist. I actually have a review of a straight up with the twist from a couple of years ago and this one I have not reviewed and this color I have not reviewed. So I might just film a separate review of this one today as well because I do need to do that. So this one is straight up with the twist in the color fiery copper. I have put out pictures on social media of this one because I love it. This color is amazing. Right off the bat, you can see that while the longest little layer here does seem to hit me right at chin level, the overall effect of this one is shorter because these layers up here are shorter. So it is a very similar silhouette. It just has shorter layers and is a shorter overall piece. And I'll do a turn with this one so you can see that. So 
So before I filmed this video, I was spending some time putting them on back and forth, looking in the mirror, looking at the measurements on the website to really get a sense of how they're different. And my overall impression is that this one is a little bit, for, well, shorter, like I've already said, but it just feels like a little bit of a trendier cut versus uh, Let's Rendezvous, which is kind of a professional um, bob that doesn't have quite the short layers. I honestly, while I love them both, I think they're both adorable, I actually tend toward this one. Straight up with a twist is just, I don't know, it's fun, it's flirty. Um, I'm having so much fun with this one. I love to make her a little bit full and really play up these shorter layers, as you can see. And I could even get it, her bigger and uh, really play those up if I used any kind of styling spray or star styling cream. And I really love that about this one. It is so comfortable and so lightweight as well. Now, uh, the weight of both of these is real similar. The uh, Let's Rendezvous, I keep wanting to call it Jameson because I just talked about Jameson, uh, is just a slightly heavier but barely noticeable from a weight standpoint. And so both of them feel really light and really comfortable. They both have the Raquel Welch memory caps. Um, this one is the memory two cap and that one is the memory three cap. I'm not really sure what the biggest differences in those memory caps are, but they are just, I think it, um, Let's Rendezvous is a newer style. This one's been around for a while. And so it's a bit of an upgraded cap. They both have lace fronts. They both have full mono tops. And so overall, I would say if you're trying to decide which one to get, let's say you're looking at them both and you don't know. I would just, I think the deciding factor is, do you like some shorter layers like this? Or do you like your bobs to be a little bit more all one length? Let's Rendezvous does have layers, but they're longer layers. I'll put it on again so that you'll have a chance to kind of go back to it now that I've talked about them and I've shown them a little bit. But the biggest difference is really this one I think is a little shorter, a little bit more fun, and this one is a little longer. Okay, so take a quick look. I will tack on a picture at the end with them side by side on me so you'll be able to linger on a side by side. But you can see right away I, the feeling I get when I put them on is this one is professional and that one is fun and flirty. Not that it's not professional. You could absolutely wear that one in a professional environment, but fun and flirty is really uh, the, the sense I get from straight up with a twist. And let's rendezvous here it gives me work office professional vibes really quite a bit and while like I said there's a couple of shorter layers in here overall this is a longer layered bob whereas that one has those shorter layers that you can really um, kind of play up now when I want to mess this one up I can definitely play up those layers a little bit and and get a little bit of messiness to her but she still sort of maintains that sort of professional haircut versus I think straight up with the twist is a little bit more fun so that's my take on this really short and sweet um, you can go watch the full review of this one if you want to learn more about the cap and see the color outside and all of that and then I will get a, a color spotlight filmed on this other one as well so you'll be able to do that let me know if you have any specific questions though um, as far as permatease goes uh, this one actually let me check out the other one too for permatease this one does have some permatease back in here which gives it some of that roundedness in the back and a little bit of lift so when I put my hands back here I can feel permatease it's not super poofy or pillowy it's absolutely there though. There is permatease in Let's Rendezvous. Let's put on straight up with the twist one more time and let me just double check the permatease. I think Let's Rendezvous has more permatease. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Let's Rendezvous does have more permatease, which makes it feel fuller 
and a little bit heavier and it is a little bit heavier but that could also be because of the length but when i put my hands into straight up with the twist back here i cannot feel the permatease at all i can feel the permatease on let's rendezvous so it does give it a little bit more like i said of a fuller look a more professional look this one is so fun honestly you guys it's so fun so i'm not trying to bash let's rendezvous but i think you can tell which one i have a preference for so that's my kind of quick comparison of these two wigs let's rendezvous and straight up with a twist again ask if you have any questions the caps fit me exactly the same i don't notice any difference there they fit me really really well these are running true to average i actually think let's uh, rendezvous might fit me a little bit bigger in the crown this one feels like it's fitting me a little closer to my head and I feel felt like I had just a little bit of extra cap in the crown on Let's Rendezvous. But overall, they're fitting me pretty similar. All right, so what do you think? Which one do you think is more me? Do you think it's this one that I am playing up and talking up so much or do you think that let's rendezvous is really more me let me know in the description but also let me know if you have these wigs what you think of them and help your wig sisters with any of your thoughts especially if you've had a chance to try them both thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and share this video when you do those things it helps the algorithm and more wig sisters see the information that they need i am so appreciative of you guys and i will talk to you soon